So loose shot just wide point blank range for Callie Burns just goes wide left of the near side post here. Well, thank you here for joining us tonight. Columbia City, Indiana, been here all week. Have the 3A boys sectional going on as well on the opposite days of this 2A girls sectional. As that ball played into number five, Chelsea Sowles. Sowles couldn't fit it back up top here to Croc. That'll be Haraberta with the throw right into Slater. Slater. Morris rolled on her a little bit. Now does finish the switch to Avery Lado. Avery Lado likes to push up two in the attack. One of those top sophomores. Slater, a little angled ball out wide to Burns. She gets on the end of it. Burns dribbles through everyone. The shot is deflected. Took on the whole defense right there. Did Burns on some beautiful service from Ava Slater. And Garrett on their heels right now. This is kind of what we expected. The turnover, Reese leaves it. Hartzog, Morris. Does take the shot, but she didn't have that first touch clean. That led to the deflection. Look at Morris. Beautiful play. Slater thinking about it. Now wants to come near side. Leaves it. Grace Hine. Hine has Morris. Instead goes far side to Lado. Nearing 10 minutes in. Throw in. 30 minutes. Left in this. How about that skill from Lado? A St. Charles Borough Mayo product. Oh, how about that dribble from Burns? Thought about Morris, but a good read by Lance. Let's see if Garrett can get a little bit possession here. As Lance. Here comes Lado. Good through ball wide. Burns has plenty of space. Chose the quick one. Slater, though, it's a matter of time here, kids. As Slater goes wide, telling you what, it is just a matter of time before one of these is going to the back of the net. Garrett, just no offense right now. And it usually does not lead to good things. Battling on that left side. Ooh, maybe a little pull. Nope, whistle went to the mouth, but it never blew. How about Burns walking through? Comes to O'Leary. O'Leary back to Burns. But even though you're outplaying your competition, this is soccer, one counter can put you down a goal. As Combs there, easy with the grab. As I mentioned, Garrett 7 5 and 2 coming into tonight. Reese had the overrun coming from Harabert and said tried to go up top to Hartzog. The junior out to touch and substitution for the Railroaders. And the throw-in's going to be coming from number five, Chelsea Sowles. They're going to move number two, McKenna Lance, to that left back now. And a whistle that never went, out, never went in. It was going to be a throw-in coming for Dwenger and Lily Haraberta. The long throw. Reese has a little bit of space. Now closed out. Great touch. Down the sideline, left-footed cross comes in. Hartzog, a little heavy on that. Comes back to Haraberta. Slater. Playing around the official. Slater looking for that shot and scuffed it. Easy grab for Combs. Ball blasted to midfield. Aaron Burns. She'll settle it to Morris. Slater, great touch. Has her wide. What a ball. But offsides. Callie Burns was offsides on that far side.
Burns. Hine rolled over Lance. 50-50 <clears throat> ball won by Morris. Oh, great ball. Oh, that was going to lead to something nice. Outstanding defense play, but look at the handling from O'Leary. Haraberta, Slater, give and go. Burns is offsides again. They would have flag would have came up if she had a touch. Couple of passes linked up, but then double teamed and close out. It does find wide. And then in between two Garrett players. Back out wide to Burns. Burns had it tripped up on the 30 yard line. Now it takes a run of the box. Burns, a shot. Goal! What an angled shot from Burns. She tucks it in that far post for the goal. First one on the board goes to Dwenger. And Callie Burns, she leads the club in that category. That's her 12th goal of the season. That one coming. Just under 26. That run, though. Beautiful run, and then the shot. Not sure how she beat the keeper. That's a tough angle. And 1 0 we go. Now back to the action on the restart. Turned over right away. Hartzog, excuse me, Harkenrider. Uh oh, Burns wants another one. Offside, though. That's number eight. Ellen Harkenrider, who's just checked in. She's a, one of the sophomores for head coach Jim McKaig. You'll see quite a few players for Dwanger. Telling you, they are about as good as it gets in Class 2A. It's coming off a state final runner-up from a year ago. And a turnover, that's number 15, has checked into the match. And Isabel Sherman. And for you Dwenger fans, I'll be on the call tomorrow night. A little rivalry as the Bishop Dwenger Saints will host the Snyder Panthers. A little Summit Athletic Conference football live from Bishop Darcy Stadium in Shields Field. I'll be on the call there. We'll go live about 6.45 p.m. Make sure you join us. Here's Reese. They want another one early. Good play and positioning defensively. Miss hit that one. Comes to Haraberta. Back out. Slater's going to track it down. Nope. Maybe. Does eventually. Slater. Little toe poke. Was looking for Harkin Rider. Couldn't find it. Now the way back, O'Leary. Kari O'Leary. Her dad, of course, assistant coach here for head coach Matt Kostoff on the boys' basketball program at Dwanger. Here's Slater. Picked off. Good play by Sowell. She's just a sophomore for Garrett. 50-50 ball, and Dwanger wins another one. They're going to play back Carl Leary. <clears throat> Reese kept it in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Not sure, but he's sitting right down that line. Throw in coming. Sowles throws it in. Haraberta with the header. Tries to put it to Reese. Does Reese. A little toe poke there to Harkenrider. Harkenrider finishes it here to Slater. Slater. Good ball out wide. That was Klein Richard. Burns wants a second goal. The cross, but behind her intended targets of Reese and Klein Richard. And it's going to be a Garrett throw. Good gamesmanship for Haraberta, though. Sowles with the throw as Garrett is going to sub once again. But quite a difference when you look at roster size from Dwinger to Garrett. Just on the bench, I only see one, two, three, four players in reserve roles. And I'm sure one of them's a goalkeeper for head coach Bob Newman. 
where Dwenger has 137 girls over there. Klein Richard plays it back. Harkenrider leaves it. Slater. Oh, beautiful ball. I'm telling you what, her vision and IQ and Burns with the speed to keep it in. Nope, she could not on that second touch. Goal kick. So Garrett hanging in there. Need to weather the storm early. 18 minutes into this match. They know they're the underdog. Anything can happen here in sectional play. Kept in. Just a bit out of the reach. Sherman grabs. Finds Klein Richard. Sweeps it near side to Reese. Out to touch. Still lose at the top of the 18. Oh, nice ball. Oh, couldn't get it up top. Was looking, I believe, to number six. Jasmine Cowell, the sophomore. So we've said that a couple of times here already for Garrett. And some underclassmen getting outstanding minutes as Lado takes. Oh, look at that change of direction from Avery Lado. That's serious. Reese. Reese tries to cut it back to the right. Does. Settles it. The shot and not enough bend on it. But Burns on that right side and Reese on this left side wreaking havoc right now. With too much speed as Dwanger comes in with the line shift. They'll go to their 120 girls on the bench. So Jim McKegg will switch up the formation a little bit as well. well. Going up top in the middle now is number 17, the junior. Emma Farr. Good ball to Farr. Give and go. Klein Richard wants it right back. A little miss hit there from Harkin Ryder, but does see out wide. Is that number 14 has just checked in. That's Lucy Bryan. Klein Richard put it in. Far other chance. Shot goal. She just checked in 30 seconds ago. And the junior, Emma Farr, with the goal. Number two for Dwenger. And they are rolling. Just cannot afford not to clear it. Look at that ball right there. Tucks it in. That right there, that missed clearance led to that deflection and Emma Farr with the goal. Wow. Doing it rolling. Back to the action. Well, Dwinger may break this three straight overtime matches here at Columbia City. Number 12 is also checked in. Kelly Connolly, the senior for Dwanger. Riley Van Buskirk, and a sophomore for Garrett's going to be patrolling this right side. Looking up front to Farah. Good defensive play and help to clear that out to touch for Dwanger. So Emma Farr with her fifth goal of the season. There she is with the touch. A little heavy, but great vision to Burns. Burns tried to find Klein Richard. Defended nicely. And that's going to be a foul on Sherman. Nice job by Garrett to take the hit, pick up the foul. Oh, 
There's Van Buskirk. She'll look to throw in for Garrett. As they're getting a little action on the attacking end. And they're going to stop the time with an injured player down. I believe that's Klein Richard on a knee right there at the center of your screen. Let's uh, stay right here. She'll be checked out immediately. This is SummitCitySports.com. Thanks for joining us. Follow us on Twitter at 260sports. Kelly Automotive Group is Indiana's number one automotive group with over 1,000 new vehicles and 500 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Please visit drivekelly.com. Simple, transparent, reliable. Back to the action. 18 minutes left in this first half. Dwanger up 2-0. So that throw is right away taken back by Dwanger, but that does roll out over the sideline for a throw for the Railroaders. Here's Van Buskirk again. And once it back, it's hilarious that he makes her move back two feet in a 100-yard field. Van Buskirk. A turnover. Just can't piece more than one, two passes together. Can the Railroaders right now. It has a lot to do with the pressure defensively, of course, but far, a lot of contact. Needs to play back to her. Burns. Oh, had two runners and just waited a little bit too long. Farah, could you track it down? It doesn't matter. It's going to go out for a corner for Dwenger, and it will be Callie Burns to come take it. She's the leading point leader on this club, the junior with 30 points. She has eight assists on 11 goals. Well, 12 after the one earlier tonight. Cleared out nice. Bus Van Buskirk. Put back in the 18. Cleared out. Cut back in by Connolly. Had that roll up just a little bit. I think that was Abby Shirk, another sophomore. Far. Through ball. Burns. The cross deflected out for another corner. That ball skied all the way to the other side of the field. Substitution for the railroaders. Kept in by Sherman. Cuts it out wide. That's number 16, Faith Lewis, who's checked in. I know, shockingly, another sophomore. Cleared out by Garrett. Connolly plays it back. That's Aaron Burns. Cross comes in. Ooh, that one. Collision. They're going to pick up a foul on Dwenger. So what a venue here at Columbia City. Sitting out away from town on the southeast side. Take a look at the tennis courts across the way. A beautiful new turf. Great D to poke that away from far. Faith Lewis finds Harkin Rider. Harkin Rider looking for space. Gets some. Uh, that one's deflected by a railroader, but right back to Combs for the grab. Her positioning's been strong. Still finds themselves down 2 0. Yeah, 
And offsides was Dwanger. Comes back here to Burns. Burns, oh, look at that move. Cut it. And then just wide. No one there on the far post, but wow. Outstanding dribbling from Burns. That was nearly 3-0. Goal kick coming for Garrett. Taken away on that far sideline. And out to touch. Off of Garrett will be a Dwinger throw. 12 minutes left in this half. Winner of this match will play in the 2 p.m. final this Saturday. Connolly. She's on side up front. Is that far again? Thought about playing it wide. Not wide enough, but came back, and it will be a goal kick. Good pressure by number 14, Lucy Bryan, the senior, but it will be a goal kick for Garrett. But nothing going right now offensively for the Railroaders. Checking in is number five, Megan Guzne. Uh-oh, Combs, heads up play. Saw it happening. Sherman poked it through, but no one there. But Croc. Continued pressure in the attack. A little give and go. Nicely done. Has a runner and fire right down the box, but another offsides by the Saints. Ten minutes. This is game one of our doubleheader. In sectional number 22, we will have the host school, Columbia City Lady, Lady Eagles, up next. They'll take on Concordia out uh, of the Summit Athletic Conference. It'll be a good one as Columbia City won in their opening match. Uh-oh, Guzne, the cross, Combs there. But they did defeat Leo on Tuesday in an overtime Winner off the header from Margot Keller. And pulls the tremendous win against Leo. So they will take on Concordia, who did have a bye. So they have not played yet here in this sectional. That's number 11, Mia Pinkerton. She's just a freshman on for Garrett. Good ball as Guzne is making the run. Harkenreiter, Farr. Oh, good read defensively. I think she kind of toyed her into that, did Lance. Good idea. 
battled and taken away. That's number 20 for Dwanger. Sophia Sortelet, the freshman. Cleared. Kept in. Back to O'Leary. Surveys. Now comes near side. Ahern. Augusta Ahern. Now Guzne. I don't know if there's one starter in for Dwanger right now. Here's Far. Good read. Clears it out. That's going to go out for a throw. The near side. Substitutions. Two of them for Dwanger coming in. Will be number 10 for the throw. Augusta Ahern. Thought about Morris. Instead, tried to go all the way to Hine. Morris plays it back to Hine. Now Morris again. Garrett with the throw on this near side. Twinger throw. Six and a half minutes left in this first half. Up 2-0. Great start to their sectionals here for Dwanger. Cannot get it all the way out. Morris, you got to close out on her. She's got a boot. Morris, the shot. And that does go wide. I've seen her put two in at that distance this season. She does have four goals on the season. They're going to play it back to Sortelet. A freshman getting some nice playing time. Head coach Jim McKay using every available slot on this roster to fill it. Good ball to Guzne. Morris and Hind. Will receive there. But I believe those are the only two starters in right now for hit coach Jim McKay. How about that move? That's silly. Tafara offsides. Good sliding save, but just pretend like that never happened. Whistle. Nice job by Candace Cone. Four and a half minutes left in this first half. It's about a, the sixth, fifth or sixth offsides for Dwanger in this first half. Something they'll need to clean up for sure. Good skill level right there. Plays it now to number four. And Mia Gullet. And just behind Gullet, Morris is going to lay it back to Grace Hine. Now to Sherman. Sherman. Try to fit it in. Did get there to number 16, Faith Lewis. And out to touch for a Garrett throw. 
Chelsea Sowles. A lot of standing around here. Poor Garrett. Lewis. Ooh, nearly taken away. Lewis came back to get it to Morris. Morris, very strong on the ball. Tried to lay it back to Hein. Hein, how about that? Now you see it, now you don't. Hein. Looking up top, there's Farah. That's that goal, the second one. And I think that's going to be a goal kick. I'm not sure that was touched by... Oh, it was. It was deflected out by Garrett. And it will be a corner kick coming for Bishop Dwenger. And who's going to take it? It'll be Grace Hine. One assist on the season. Right-footed out swinger from Hine. Morris off the volley and Combs. I think that was wide of this post, but Combs makes a nice play. She was right there. Kept in by Connolly. Morris. Hines going to play back to Sortelet. What an advantage that is to have. Your whole back four is coming off the bench right now. And head coach McKay has the confidence in it, no question. Here's Morris. Wants a shot. Instead, try to play the through ball deflected right over the head of Far. Goes to Guzne. Guzne. That one scooped out of there. Right past the defender. Leaves it to Farrer. Try to cut it back. And not enough there for a foul. Rolled up on Connolly. Good touch. From Garrett. But just not enough up front. That was Golet. That will be played out to touch for another Doinger throw. Cleared out of there by number 10, Ella Baver. She's the senior center back, but comes back now to Guzne. Morris. How about that? That is outstanding soccer. Ahern, eh, just a little bit heavy, but that's the right play every time. No doubt about it. As we got 35 seconds left in this first half, and a quick one. Substitution with 30 seconds left. <coughs> Excuse me. That will come near side on the goal kick. But a good display in this first half, the first 40 minutes for Dwanger. Morris needs a rip one. She does, but it's going to be the end of the first half. Your score 2 0. Bishop Dwenger on top in the game one of our doubleheader on this sectional semifinal Thursday. You are watching SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like and follow our Facebook page, Summit City Sports, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tom Steel Tire has been servicing the Fort Wayne area for over 40 years. They'll help you find the perfect tire for your vehicle and other auto repair services like brakes, wheel line, engine diagnostics and more. Big Eyed Fish has been around the Northeast Indiana area for generations. Like their Facebook pages for updated promotions. Enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne in a family-friendly environment at the Big Eyed Fish. You're invited to join ProFed Credit Union where we get to know you to better serve you. Sign up online in five minutes or stop by a branch. Join ProFed today and start owning your financial future at ProFedCU.org. At Ottenweller Contracting, we invest in our customers by providing peace of mind during the entire process from bid to build. Visit OttenwellerContracting.com. 
Summit Volleyball trains and builds the highest quality volleyball players in the area. From ages 5 to 18, our players are equipped with elite level skills and a foundation of life skills. Jump on board. Together, we can reach the summit. Anderson Heating and Air Conditioning is dedicated to providing the best possible solution for your home or business. Visit AndersonCoolHeat.com. iCryo specializes in whole body cryotherapy, body sculpting, cryofacials, infrared sauna, and compression therapy services. Check out Jalen Smith's signature location on Coliseum Boulevard by Blaze Pizza. El Azteca Mexican Restaurant has been a Fort Wayne favorite since 1973. El Azteca Mexican recipes are sure to tantalize your taste buds. Visit El Azteca Restaurant.com. At Parkview Sports Medicine, it's game on. We serve every level of athlete with our integrated sports medicine team, including the region's only specialized athletic rehab facility. Learn more about our services by logging on to Parkview Sports Medicine.com. So that is our halftime break here, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to step away for about five and a half minutes. You are watching sectional number 22, two-way girls soccer, right here live from SummitCitySports.com. Where we have to do this? A bit of a hill. <laughs> His mother said, if you're coming to school, you got to bring your sister because they have to go and work in the fields. So this kid carries his one-year-old sister everywhere. A lot of those kids don't eat in the morning. A lot of those kids, the only place they do eat is at that school. I thought going up that mountain, Mary's meals can reach everywhere that there's a hungry child. Do you see what happens after a simple meal? It just came to life. Love reaches everywhere. Parkview Sports Medicine's integrated sports medicine team is built to serve the needs of all athletes in all sports. Our team's only goal is to improve athletes in every facet. PSM offers performance training to help athletes get better on the field, dedicated athletic rehabilitation and physical therapy to help them get better off of it, certified athletic trainers in our PSM schools providing daily support to our athletes, and a specialized orthopedic walking clinic when injury strikes. Call 260-266-4007 to speak to our care navigators or visit Parkview sportsmedicine.com to learn more about what we can do to improve athletes at all levels. Parkview Sports Medicine. Become more. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the 260's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. Joint pain, sprains, strains, or a possible broken bone? Make the Parkview Ortho Express Walking Clinic your first stop when you have an orthopedic or sports injury. Parkview Ortho Express, located at the Sport One Parkview Fieldhouse, gives you access to quick care and orthopedic physicians when you need it most. Get x-rays, treatment, and referrals to Parkview Care, all in the convenience of a walk-in clinic. Call 260-266-4007 for more information. This is an invitation to join a movement <laughs> propelled by people who care and members who have a share in the place they bank. Good morning, Sam. So when you have the chance to get your first home loan, you know an expert will guide you every step of the way. Or when it's time to buy your new car, you'll be treated like more than just a credit score. Good news, ProFed can get you that payment. This is an invitation to a place where simply belonging can help enrich your whole community. ProFed Credit Union, you're invited. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports 
in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Someday, you'll get your knee replaced. Someday, a new hip. Someday can be sooner than you think. At Parkview Ortho Hospital, we want to help you get moving again. So we offer a full range of options for joint pain, including outpatient joint replacements and personalized solutions. It's time to reclaim your life at Parkview Ortho Hospital, because someday is today. Learn more at parkview.com slash ortho. Parkview, we believe in better. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. The Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Come see us in Decatur at the 2733 Auto Mall and shop seven brands in one location. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple. Transparent. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. SummitCitySports.com. Halftime break. Still got about three minutes left in that. In this halftime, Bishop Dwanger on top of Garrett two nil. As we're going to get set up for the second half, we'll be right back. This is SummitCitySports.com. Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Come see us in Decatur at the 2733 Auto Mall and shop seven brands in one location. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple, transparent, reliable. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. This is an invitation to join a movement propelled by people who care and members who have a share in the place they bank. Good morning, Sam. So when you have the chance to get your first home loan, you know an expert will guide you every step of the way. Or when it's time to buy your new car, you'll be treated like more than just a credit score. Good news, ProFed can get you that payment. This is an invitation to a place where simply belonging can help enrich your whole community. ProFed Credit Union, you're invited. I choose to do whole body cryotherapy after practices, games, and training. It reduces inflammation in my muscles and allows me to move more agile throughout my profession. I became a believer in iCryo after my severe injury in college at Notre Dame, tore my ACL, and I was looking for ways to recover, ways to get back on the field. So I'm thankful for iCryo.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Second half is underway right here from Columbia City High School. This is SummitCitySports.com. Hunter Sosenheimer on the camera. This is Tim Atkinson calling your play-by-play. -play. We've been here all week for this girls 2A sectional as well as the 3A boys sectional. It's been played on the opposite days. As here is Callie Burns. She has the first goal for Dwanger. Puts one in near post, but Combs swallows it up. Without Combs and her positioning, it could be even a worse story here. Before we get started in this second half, big shout out to my son who's having his 11th birthday today, Griffin James Atkinson. Happy birthday, kid. And it's now Bishop Dwanger. 39 minutes left in this second half. Burns making a run. The shot. Save Combs. Hartzog didn't get all of it. Crock. And it's taken away. They're going to leave it wide to Reese. Reese keeps it in. Saves possession. A little give and go with Hartzog. Reese looking for a cross. Deflected and out for a throw in. Dwinger absolutely rolling here tonight in their opening game of this sectional. And it will be a throw. Yep, yeah, that was the signal originally as well. Klein Richards going to come grab it. Try to leave it back to Lado. And it was deflected out. Throw for Garrett. But Callie Burns has been tremendous. The leading goal scorer for Dwanger. She now has 12 on the season after lacing that first one in. On a beautiful pass from Ava Slater. And then Emma Farr checked in. Off the bench, and 30 seconds later, she put her first goal in of the sectional as a junior. And she does have, I believe she had four goals. Let me check it. Yeah, now five goals on the season. Here's Burns. Through ball. Looking for Hartzog. Look at the speed from Hartzog. Couldn't keep it in. Tried to toe poke it out back near side, but failed her. Rolls out for a goal kick. Comes back now to Burns, the captain, Aaron Burns. Slater, beautiful skill. Through ball to, to Burns, right-footed cross. And just over the crossbar, out for a goal kick. But Callie Burns, <clears throat> excuse me, so hard to handle on the wing. So quick and highly skilled, as we saw in the first half as well. Has eight assists to go along with her 12 goals on the season. And the low line drive, goal kick. Flex out wide, a crock. Last touch by Dwanger, and it will be a Garrett throw in four minutes into the second half. As we talked about, we've been here for three matches since Tuesday. All three have been in overtime matches. So it looks like we're going to break the streak here, but need to keep that alive. Now comes all the way through here to Haraberta playing this right back spot. Haraberta looked up front to Hartsaw. Good read. How about that strength shown by number 24, Lexi Gordon? She's just a sophomore, good size. And here's a little offensive move. Nope. William Buskirk had that taken away, but a lot of sophomores. The more and more you watch here, Garrett's going to be tough to beat here in the next couple of years. How about Burns? Couldn't keep it in, but great idea. And the throw from Lance. Looks up to Gordon. Alberta peeled back. O'Leary, so confident. She's going to play 
her sophomore running mate and Avery Lado. Now back to Burns. Burns plays that ball up. <laughs> that rolled up mid hand. Reese had her right arm away from the body, rolled up right off the elbow and down. It's going to be a free kick coming for Garrett. Reese comes back to take it. Has Klein Richard. Klein Richard thinks about it. Angled through ball. Oh, came to Burns. Great vision. Now Burns has three Dwinger players in the box. Left cross. Comes to Slater. 50 50 ball. Slater's going to win it. Tried to split the D. Wasn't there. Comes back out here to Lato. Lato now. Dribbling through traffic, ran into a buzzsaw and had that taken away. And it's going to be a foul Ooh, on Garrett as Lato hit the turf. So good attack by the sophomore is going to lead to a free kick. And a very good spot for Bishop Dwinger. And who's it going to be? Looks like it's going to be Klein Richard, but Burns usually takes a lot of these as well. So it will be Klein Richard or Burns. You have a right foot, left foot situation. Under 34 minutes left in this match. There's a 10-yard walk-off. And Burns with the left, or Klein Richard with the right. Indirect. That ball is deflected, giving up the body, outstanding. But kept in, Haraberta. The cross, that one's wide, but good play. My number 10 for Garrett Ella Baver. Giving up the body, took that right on the side. You could hear it all the way up here. A good tough there, tough play by Garrett. A shot out to the ball boys. Just uh, he's about to enter your screen there. Full sprint across the field. It's tremendous stuff. Kid's probably only eight, nine years old. Good look. Just off the boot though of Harkin Rider. Check it out, it's Hartzog up there, number nine, not number eight. Here's Burns. Reese has a runner in Klein Richard, low give and go. Good cross, still loose, not cleared. Let's it run, but Lato there, solid as well. Now to Aaron Burns. Harkenreiter out to Reese, eight minutes into the half. Slater, turn, surveys, plays back here to Haraberta. Has Burns. Burns looking for a cross, cuts it back into the box. The pass to Slater, goal! The one-touch goal from Slater. On the assist from Callie Burns. Dwinger up 3-0. What a pass and the one touch. Beautiful play on the replay here. Watch Burns with the cut dribble. And then the pass in here to Slater who sets herself. And the one touch tucks it in that far post. 3-0. Dwinger absolutely rolling here. As you would expect. Uh-oh. 1v1. Klein Richard. Chip. Goal. Just like that. Ten seconds later. And it's already 4-0. As Combs came out. But Klein Richard. 1v1. No chance for the keeper. Goal number four. For Dwinger. Nicely done by Klein Richard. She saw that read. Had that first touch. The first touch was the difference makers you see right there. Beautiful first touch. One dribble, two dribble, and then just places it nicely to beat the keeper. And just like that, 4 0. Reese Slater. Looking for service to Burns. Come on. Just not fair. 
burns the cross. Uh oh. Who just over the crossbar from Hartzog? Man. I'm telling you. Do have to say, of course, I said it earlier in the broadcast, but this squad, they're state runners up from last year, 2A, and they returned everyone on their club. They had a couple transfers out, but the majority of players were all juniors or below, and you're seeing it come to fruition right here. Here's one of the sophomores here at Berta splitting the defense. How about a third defender? The ball, good defense, because that was going to be another look at goal. Burns kept it in. That one miss hit on the clearance. Lado thought about the shot and pinned out of there and taken away. Just a little too casual with that. And Dwanger, that's one thing they are not. Everything has been precise. Now to Burns. Good read by Lance. Just couldn't get there. Heriberta now to O'Leary. Lado, good touch. Little give and go. Nope, one there. Now comes back here, Alberta. Left footed shot. That one deflected out. Harkin Ryder. Now Hartzog. Hartzog turns the shot. That was crafty. Lamella Hartzog. Under 30 minutes. Ball comes in. Right there was Leah Reese. Couldn't connect on it. But another great ball. This one played to the far post. That was nearly 5 0. Burns, there's Slater, wants to come back to Burns, I'm telling you what, cuts it back, left footed shot, yeah that one's wide of the near post, out for a goal kick. Twelve minutes we're nearing in. Garrett, can they put it get a little possession? They cannot. Herberta, uh, that will roll out for a goal kick. Good defense on the recovery. Burns couldn't get it through the defender that time. Lance will look to throw in for Garrett. Down 4-0. Was a 2-0 halftime score. That one put back in the attack. Reese leaves it to Lado. Lado, the cross comes in. Burns is near side, but not heavy enough. Combs there with the one-hop grab. Rolls it out. To Gordon, the sophomore, giving right back. Here's Slater, Klein Richard, off the, the toe, but Reese is there to recover. Reese, the shot, and Combs. And you look up, see down 4 nil, but she's been solid in goal. Not a whole lot she could have done on these.
Lado down that left side. Good drag to the end line. The cross cleared. Slater's going to keep it in. She's going to put a shot back in and out wide. Goal kick coming for Garrett. Substitution for the Saints. Game one of our doubleheader. Next up, Concordia and Columbia City is Klein Rickert. Or excuse me, Klein Richard with the shot on a nice played in ball from Slater. They're going to be a tough out, no question. Another goal kick and more substitutions. They're going to move Lado up in the midfield now. And the goal kick's booted out. Come back in, Lado. Try the through ball. Here, Alberta, a late run and a little miscommunication. Out for a goal kick. And thanks for joining us here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. SummitCitySports.com coming to you live from Columbia City High School, sectional number 22, class 2A girls. Now back. Because that's Connolly. Here's Burns. Back out wide. Nope, not Connolly. It's number 10, Augusta Ahern, the junior. Now finds Harkenrider. Harkenrider. Hartzog. Here's Connolly. As now Herberta moves in the offensive wing on the right side. That was a near hand ball. Connolly can't get it. Does go out. And referee saying you can move up about seven, eight yards. Oh, it was a handball. So the restart. And just out of sync is Garrett. Dwinger does do that to you. Good touch, but Lato read it. Comes all the way back. Now to Burns. 23 minutes. Comes in, Combs. Lado turns, surveys. Hartzog. Alberta. Curled in there, but good read. Defensive play now off to Gordon. But number 10 in that center back. For Garrett Baver. She's been solid. That one hung up just a bit. Now back to Gordon. Lays it back, Lance. Check it. That's number two. McKenna. Yeah, it is McKenna Lance. Trust your instinct, kid. And thank you for joining us here tonight. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Tim Atkinson here calling your play by play. Double header tonight. Then we'll back to Summit Athletic Conference football tomorrow night where I'll be live from Bishop Dwinger High School as they'll host the Snyder Panthers in a little rivalry game. Here's Reese. Has Farrer. That was a good change of direction, but Farrer didn't continue to run. Now comes back to Croc. Sydney Croc plays it to midfield, but Connolly there. Tough play there. Kept in, though, from Connolly. Connolly, that one rolled out on her. And substitution. 
for both clubs. Here comes Garrett again. Stepped up did Isabel Sherman for the dispossession. So we're going to have a little maroon out come our second match of the night with Columbia City and Concordia. Both maroon based colors here. Uh, out to touch for a throw in for Dwinger. Under 20 minutes, midway through. There's Connolly. Plays it back out near side. It wasn't angled enough. I think she was actually trying to go to Faro there. Nineteen minutes. Semifinal sectional number twenty two. Winner will move on to the two PM match. Comes near side now. Gordon. Reese, good touch. Just off the end there. Morris couldn't get to it. Kept in by Lewis. Guzne. Now they play it back to number 20. That's the freshman, Sophia Sortelet. Gordon, good steal. Comes back near side, nice ball. Got a step. Here's a little bit of an attack. Lance tries to split the D. And Sortelet, and good communication with her and number 10, Augusta Ahern, to clear that out of there. There's three starters on the field right now for Dwanger. <coughs> Excuse me. Up to Farr. She has a goal. It was the second one. A little collision. And we'll go out last touch by Garrett. And free kick coming for Bishop Dwanger. I mean, excuse me, not a free kick, a throw in. Gordon battling on that sideline. But that's been the difference. Dwanger's just getting to every ball quicker. A little shoulder charge. Reese, the shot. And it mishandled. And it'll go out for a corner for Dwanger. Under 17 minutes left in this match. Winner. We'll wait for that 2 p.m. final on Saturday against the winner of our next match between Concordia and Columbia City. Columbia City coming off that huge win over Leo in the quarterfinal round in OT. See if they can keep that magic rolling in our second match. As that one had no chance out for a goal kick. 16 minutes left. Klein Richard. Excuse me, that's Grace Hine. Grace Hine now.
Reese. Morris has her up, up front. That one's going to roll out. And the man with the flag had no idea where to point at that time. <laughs> Standing three feet away. Morris, nice leave to Connolly. Connolly, they push it back here to Hine. Hine wants the right boot. Puts it in, looking for Morris. And cannot connect. We'll go out for a goal kick. Check it's going to be a corner. It was deflected by a railroader. Faith, excuse me, Grace Morris is going to come here to this near side flag. Gets a little love from the ball boy. Set it right down in the spot. That's called some service as he takes off on the sprint. Connolly. Someone said he's sports.com. We even give shine to the ball boys here. The top tenor I've seen. Here's Guzne. Plays it back up far. Can she play it back out? Guzne instead comes to the center. And then Hine. The pressure, and that's going to be a foul as Hine turned her shoulder just enough. Uh, and that will be a foul on Garrett. 14 and a half left. Free kick coming. I think Isabel Sherman's going to take it. Number 15. She will. Shot. Goal! Nope. The second one? I'm not sure if that was the second or the first. It doesn't matter. Goal for Dwenger. I think that was Sherman. Looked like it tucked underneath the underside of the bar and did cross the line. But a goal nonetheless. Goal number five for the Saints. Absolutely rolling. Here in this sectional semifinal. Let's see if we can take a peek. That was definitely a goal for Sherman. I'm giving it to Sherman. That was about a foot over the goal line. So an outstanding free kick. Do not see a lot of those in the high school game. We see a lot of free kicks, but not a lot of goals. What a tremendous Rub on the bottom of the crossbar for the goal. 5 nil. Right here, you need to save it. I would say normally, hey, save a little bit of offense, but you're, you're barely playing any starters here for Jim McKeg. Grace Hine. Morris. Drags it. Reese, and yeah, it's going to be too heavy. That will roll out for a goal kick. Dwinger coming in 11-1 and one to the sectionals. Their only defeat was a 3A Homestead, who has a really good chance to win that sectional. They're at Homestead in Class 3A. They could make a run. Reese. Has such a great feel for the defenders around her. Always finds space. And the slide tackle from behind usually called, but must have got all ball. And nothing there. Reese. Good takeaway. That's number two, McKenna Lance. <clears throat> and she took a fall right in front of the official. And is still down. And they're going to stop it. She took a hard fall. And hopefully it's just the wind being knocked out of her because that was definitely a hard fall. Let's take a short break here. SummitCitySports.com. <laughs> The Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. 
Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Come see us in Decatur at the 2733 Auto Mall and shop seven brands in one location. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple, transparent, reliable. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 5 0. Just under 12 and a half minutes left. Dwenger on top. Looking primed to move into the final to take on the winner of our next match between Columbia City and Concordia. It'll be a maroon fest here in the stands. And we're back at it. Comes Connolly. Connolly up top. Morris. Ooh, beautiful. Morris out wide. Stopped on a dime. Now finds Hine. Hine puts a shot at goal. And the save by Combs. Also want to shout out my 14-year-old daughter. Had her birthday on Monday. So happy birthday, Maya Lucille Atkinson. It was a busy week here in the Atkinson household. And, of course, during sectional week as well. Now Hine. Connolly. Reese. And that will be out for a goal kick. Well-played match by the Bishop Dwinger Saints. I mean, what can you say? Garrett and their youngsters a little bit overmatched. And it will be a goal kick coming again. Up top here to Morris. It's not going to be long before she's going to be out of this ball game. How about that vision out wide to Ahern up to Guzne. Guzne found some space. Can't clear it out, but Combs with the grab. And just as I did say that, Dwenger, I think they're going to, they might sub in 11 straight players here. Gordon. She's been a bright spot for Garrett, no question. And Bishop Dwanger out of Fort Wayne. Garrett's about, oh, 25-minute drive north of Fort Wayne. As the winner of this will move into the regionals next week. And we'll see where that will go we'll pull that up Morris leaves it Faith Lewis that one broken up under 10 minutes and goal it And here comes the team team change. And the bad thing for Garrett is the majority of starters coming back in under nine minutes. Goal kick comes out. Gordon hits a header on it. Sounds a lay though. Burns. Hartzog, that one deflected. Tried to leave it out. Did Klein Richard. Comes to Grace Morris. Left footed shot. And that's wide of the near post. Out for another goal kick. As we're nearing eight minutes left in this match. K. 
cannot start a sectional any better. The runner, the shot, that one was deflected out wide, but who was it deflected off of? It was off a railroader, so it will go for a Dwanger corner. So this sectional will feed into the 2A Marion Regional. They're at Marion High School. Ball has played in, cleared out once again. It'll be a throw for Dwanger. Seven twenty left. Off the bar. Gordon heads it out near side. Burns kept it. Wants a second goal. Burns a shot. Crossed up the goalie but couldn't fit it in. Does go wide in the near post. But Dwanger has enjoyed the majority of possession here tonight as I finally got my text from my stat guy who takes the school years off in Arizona. Lucky guy. But Dwanger at 98.92376% possession in this match. It's a heavy number. Shots on goal. I do not believe Garrett has a shot on goal. And Bishop Dwanger. Oh, beautiful ball played in. Klein Richard couldn't head it down underneath the crossbar. But I think Dwanger is up to about 137 shots on goal. I kid, of course, but it has been a dominating match. And no hate on Garrett. Just a little bit overmatched against Dwanger here tonight with this youth for the Railroaders. Gordon, she's one of them. Good things to come for her. You can see it. The chip. Combs. She handles those low balls very well. Under six minutes. But as I mentioned, this sectional will move to the Marion Regional. And we'll see where SummitCitySports.com will be at. We'll have to let everything filter out throughout the weekend. And then I'll make a decision Sunday on where we will be for sex, or excuse me, for regionals, whether we'll be at 3A or 2A. Try to split the D on that far side. No going. 450 now. Morris. Cross comes in on the ground. Oh, nice play by Harkenrider. Check it, Hartzog. There's Mia Gullet. She'll be back. She's just a junior. Burns. Aaron Burns plays at Carly O'Leary. Slater. Cuts it to the left. Looking for a shot. Slater. Wide. Unhappy with herself on that one. Four minutes left in this match. Bishop Dwinger on top. 5-0. It was a 2-0 halftime lead for the Saints. That fifth one from a Isabel Sherman free kick that scraped the underside of the crossbar and fell about a foot behind the goal line. Here's Morris. Comes in, Combs there. Now this five goals has not been on the keeper, Combs. The senior. Played a well-played well, ma well played match, but the onslaught, Klein Richard, that one could not get into her. Harkin Rider was looking on the feed.
Look at that through ball. Late run, though. And out to touch for under three minutes. <laughs> well, head coach Jim McKay cannot ask for any more from his kids. These girls played an outstanding match here tonight against Garrett. And they're going to be a tough out here in the final, whether it's against Columbia City or against Concordia. As the Garrett fans still cheering on their club. Love to see that. There's been nice crowds on hand, no question. It's Columbia City, always their fans always come out, their community. That was Gullet, a junior. Pinched off that ball. Two minutes we have left in the match. Left it, but just behind Morris. Morris out to Burns and could not keep it in. We'll roll out for a goal kick over the end line. Uh, Burns nearly kept it in. That was tough. Ball played out. But Cecilia Garrett is replaced. But she had no. Oh, Klein Richard. The goal. 106 left in the match. And number 19, McKenna Klein Richard with the goal. Why not? 6 0. With 104 left. Consistently attacking. All the action been on the right side of the field here in this second half. It's tilted, no doubt. And as I mentioned, Dwanger enjoying every bit of possession. And a little fake out. That was a bad hit, I guess. And the official wanted to move that a yard and a half to restart it. Ooh, ooh, good header. Burns. She'll keep this in. The cross. Oh, excuse me. Combs there for the save. 30 seconds. Slater. And that poked away. Under 10 seconds. And that will do it. So congratulations to the Bishop Dwanger Saints. They win 6-0 over Garrett to move on to the sectional final. 2 p.m. this Saturday from SummitCitySports.com. Outstanding match played all around for the Bishop Dwanger Saints. And head coach Jim McKaig. And as I mentioned, we'll move on to the 2 p.m. game. They'll play the winner of our second match tonight between Concordia and the host squad, Columbia City. Until then, we're going to sign off for now, come back with our second match for Hunter Sussenheimer. I am Tim Atkinson. You have been watching sectional number 22 right here live from SummitCitySports.com. Sure we have to do this? A bit of a hill. <laughs> His mother said, if you're coming to school, you got to bring your sister because they have to go and work in the fields. So this kid carries his one-year-old sister everywhere. A lot of those kids don't eat in the morning. A lot of those kids, the only place they do eat is at that school. I thought going up that mountain, Mary's meals can reach everywhere that there's a hungry child. Do you see what happens after a simple meal? It just came to life. Love reaches everywhere.
Parkview Sports Medicine's integrated sports medicine team is built to serve the needs of all athletes in all sports. Our team's only goal is to improve athletes in every facet. PSM offers performance training to help athletes get better on the field, dedicated athletic rehabilitation and physical therapy to help them get better off of it. Certified athletic trainers in our PSM schools providing daily support to our athletes and a specialized orthopedic walking clinic when injury strikes. Call 260-266-4007 to speak to our care navigators or visit parkviewsportsmedicine.com to learn more about what we can do to improve athletes at all levels. Parkview Sports Medicine. Become more. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the 260's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. Joint pain, sprains, strains, or a possible broken bone? Make the Parkview Ortho Express Walking Clinic your first stop when you have an orthopedic or sports injury. Parkview Ortho Express, located at the Sport One Parkview Fieldhouse, gives you access to quick care and orthopedic physicians when you need it most. Get x rays, treatment, and referrals to Parkview Care, all in the convenience of a walk in clinic. Call 260 266 4007 for more information. This is an invitation to join a movement propelled by people who care and members who have a share in the place they bank. Good morning, Sam. So when you have the chance to get your first home loan, you know an expert will guide you every step of the way. Or when it's time to buy your new car, you'll be treated like more than just a credit score. Good news, ProFed can get you that payment. This is an invitation to a place where simply belonging can help enrich your whole community. ProFed Credit Union, you're invited. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Someday, you'll get your knee replaced. Someday, a new hip. Someday can be sooner than you think. At Parkview Ortho Hospital, we want to help you get moving again. So we offer a full range of options for joint pain, including outpatient joint replacements and personalized solutions. It's time to reclaim your life at Parkview Ortho Hospital. Because someday is today. Learn more at parkview.com slash ortho. Parkview, we believe in better. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. The Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Come see us in Decatur at the 2733 Auto Mall and shop seven brands in one location. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple. Transparent.
Um, Concordia, they are at Peru. I saw Christian in Canterbury. I tied it too and going to overtime. Okay. According to Justin Drink. 